Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gogoi of Krishna Kanta Handik State Open University. In this particular video, I shall be taking up Unit 12, Remedial Grammar, where we shall be discussing glossary from active voice to base form. The course is Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 2. Here are the table of contents, starting with the learning objectives, a brief introduction, introducing the glossary, active voice to base form, and questions to check your progress, followed by the references. Coming to the learning objectives, after going through this unit, the learner will be able to discuss the purpose of a glossary with regard to remedial grammar and also define some of the significant terms from the provided glossary. To provide you with a brief introduction, you will perhaps agree that a glossary on English grammar can play the role of a very useful instructional material on basic remedial work. A unit on remedial grammar ought to provide you with grammatical explanations which would help you to remedy, correct or compensate for the inadequacies that you might have felt while going through some of the subsections of the units of grammar. The glossary is an answer to that inadequacy you might have experienced. A glossary can provide you with an opportunity to self-check yourself on the concepts and points of correctness of your language so as to help you to identify the areas where you would require some remedial aspects. With regard to the familiar concepts, you can be more focused and perhaps tend to be more critical in your approach to the concepts. Introducing the glossary from active voice to base form. Active voice. The term refers to a form of a sentence structure that contrasts with the form known as passive voice. These two patterns express a relationship between a verb and the noun phrase in the structure. Two sentences can differ in voice and yet have the same basic meaning. Adjective. It is a word that describes a noun. For example, a beautiful painting or a pronoun. Example, the tall one. Having gradation to make the description more specific. Example, beautiful. More beautiful, most beautiful, tall, taller, tallest. So that is the gradation. However, there are some adjectives that are not gradable. For example, impossible. And can have a qualitative use and a predicative use. For example, a beautiful picture. The picture is beautiful. So here we find that it can have a qualitative use and a predicative use. Adverb. It is a word that describes or gives more information about a verb. For example, he ran quickly. About an adjective. For example, the painting is very beautiful. Another adverb. For example, he ran rather slowly. Or a phrase even. For example, I live just across the road. Like adjectives, they can be gradable which is done by adding very. There are many non-gradable adverbs too. For example, completely, mainly, among others. Affirmative sentence. It is a type of sentence in English grammar that has no markers of negation. That is, it expresses an assertion. The affirmative, also called positive, contrasts with a negative sentence. For example, I like fish. Alternative question. It is a type of question whose answer is to be found in the question itself. As in, shall we go by bus or by taxi? Are you coming or not? Article. It is a type of determiner that is used with a noun and which shows whether the noun refers to something definite. For example, the book or indefinite. For example, an apple, a pen. When nouns are used without an article, for example, gold is a precious metal. This is sometimes called zero article. Aspect. It is a grammatical category which deals with how the events described by a verb is viewed, such as whether it is a progressive, for example, he is reading, perfective, for example, he has read the book, or perfect progressive, for example, he has been reading the book. Auxiliary verb. Verbs like be, have, do and their different forms when used before a main verb are called auxiliary verbs, for example, I have read the book. Models are also treated as auxiliaries. Base form. The term is used to refer to the main part of a word that does not use any prefix or suffix. The word like is the base form of the words likely, unlike or unlikely. So this brings us to the end of this particular video. I shall leave you with a few questions to check your progress. Starting with question number one. What is the purpose of a glossary? 
Question number two. What is the difference between the terms adjective and adverb? Give examples. Question number three. State the function of articles. Question number four. Define the use of the grammatical category of aspect. Question number five. Give two relevant examples of the base form. I hope you'd also refer to the BE English graduate self-learning material that is the SLM or Foundation Course in English, Block 2, Unit 12, Semester 1. Thank you, dear learners. Thank you.